Hey YouTube, ready for a fish room update? Stay tuned. Alright YouTube, this is Brian and I'm coming at you with a fish room update for December of uh, 2017. Probably the last fish room update uh, for the year. But I uh, wanted to start up here in the office and show you Cheeto's tank. Uh, before I do that though, um, just wanted to thank everybody who took advantage of the uh, Black Friday, Cyber Monday, Small Business Saturday sale that I put on and bought Southern Delight. Um, that sale was a big success, uh, sold a lot of food, um, was able to get it out there to a lot of people. So just want to let everybody know that took advantage of that sale or that buys Southern Delight from me anyway. Um, whether it's on sale or not, uh, that it just really means a lot. It's a huge thank you um, on my part to you, and I want to just thank you for the support. So, um, yeah, that's all I have to say about that. If you are interested in buying some Southern Delight, just uh, email me at the email uh, in the description below, or hit me up on Facebook, and uh, we can take your order and get it shipped out right away. So, uh, Cheetos Tank. Uh, him and the female, which is over here kind of in the corner we'll get to that in a minute um, they did uh, spawn uh, a while back now a couple of weeks ago and um, they had a nice uh, cloud of fry free swimming fr uh, fry in this tank and uh, one day I came down um, in the morning and the cloud was still there the fry were all there and then came back in, took a look in the afternoon, and they were all gone. First I thought they might be hiding in these rocks or something like that, but it became pretty evident pretty quickly that uh, they had eaten the fry. Not sure which one of them, because I didn't see it happening. But, uh, so that's a bum deal. Um, and the first day, first and second day after it happened, they were fine. Swimming around together like a, like a true pair. She was rubbing up against him, almost kind of looking like she was uh, ready for um, for another um, spawn fairly soon. But then yesterday and today now, he's been really um, chasing her around, nipping at her, um, and she's kind of off in the corner here. So I think what I'm going to do is grab that other female that I still have that used to be in this tank and put it back in to see if that can kind of give him a little bit of a distraction and uh, see what happens there. I'd hate to have to divide them or or take them out, but uh, I just would really like them to get along and spawn again. So um, kind of kicking myself for not pulling the fry sooner too. You know, they were the fry were free swimming for about a week before that happened, but I just kind of wanted to leave them in there a little bit longer. Um, but uh, next time I'll pull them quicker, I think, uh, so that they don't eat them. That's all about, that's, uh, that's all I got about uh, this tank right now, so we'll head downstairs and I will uh, show you the other stuff that's going on. So, starting off here is the uh, flower horn, 9.9 .9, uh, Compha, this is Colossus. Um, the loaches, or half of the pack of loaches that I used to have upstairs in Cheetos tank are now in this tank. <coughs> Um, I'd like to get them into a bigger tank, uh, but for now this is going to have to do. Um, they seem to be doing okay. Um, Colossus hasn't been bothering them at all or anything like that. So, Not much to say about him. Still doing great. Um, no problems or anything like that. I always like to try to get some close-ups here of some of the patterns and coloration on this guy. because. Uh, pretty cool. Down below, some more good news. Um, these guys have spawned again. This is Cheeto's brother and a female. Um, you can see a big pile of wigglers in the back of that pot, so we should have some free swimmers in a day or two. Um, that pile of wigglers has been there for two or three days now. So that's good. Uh, this will be their second spawn, so hopefully they're starting to regularly spawn like clockwork. That would be really cool. Other than that, there's not a ton else to say. So there's a close-up of the Wigglers. They're doing real well. Got the uh, Moda grow-outs here. They're growing like crazy. Been feeding them uh, 
the Southern Delight Marine Mix twice a day, and they're just loving it. Um, they're to the point now where I could uh, um, up up it to the uh, to the small cichlid and probably even veggie krill uh, with some of them. They're probably big enough to take those pellets. Um, let's see if I can find this guy. The uh, uh, actually I always say guy, but I think it's a female. Got the soul motor down here. I have to do something with him or her. I think it's a her pretty soon because I'm going to need this tank for growing out um, some fry that are getting to be a decent size. <clears throat> Over here are the reddest latest. They've spawned very regularly. Or I shouldn't say spawned because I don't know if the male's been able to fertilize them. She keeps laying eggs towards the bottom back of this tube really regularly. I'm going to pull those tubes out of there so that um, she lays somewhere else that maybe he can get to. But if I see him getting too aggressive towards her, I'll just put the tubes back in and chalk it up to we may not be able to get spawns. But um, I haven't the last two I've seen eggs and then after a few days they're gone so you know I patiently would wait and hope that I'd see uh, wigglers and then free swimmers but I never did so I'm assuming that they got eaten down here the first pair of Hadiensis they spawned recently they had a nice patch of eggs on this back rock here and then after a few days, the eggs were gone and uh, nothing. I thought there's some free swimmers because she was, or not free swimmers, but wigglers hidden because she was guarding some of these areas of rock and she stayed jet black just like she is now. But I believe it's been too long, so I'm giving up hope that they would be free swimming by now. So um, we'll just continue to cross our fingers and hope that they're able to get it right one of these days. But uh, other than that, they're doing real good. Look at the look at the coloration on this guy. He's just really good. Um, if I ever get rid of a pair of these, you know, I've got the two pairs. Um, this one, would, these ones would probably be the keepers. Uh, the other pair is over here. They've been showing signs of possible spawning, but haven't had it. They've been doing a ton of digging. And spending a lot of time in either this or that pot together, you know, <clears throat> with all the typical signs that you would think uh, are uh, kind of pre-spawn, but never seems to happen. They're real good too, real good looking pair. Um, but again, the other pair would probably be my keepers if I ever decide to get rid of one of these two pairs. Had a lot of people ask about buying one of my pairs, but I'm just at this point still not quite ready to sell one. So here's the other Midas female um, that I talked about. I'll probably add her back to the tank upstairs with Cheeto. Um, I was getting ready to list her for sale, so I thought I wouldn't need her anymore, but I'm kind of glad that I didn't. But once uh, Cheeto and that female up there, or this female can get it right, I'll sell the other one. Uh, the male Moda is still up here, doing good. Not sure what uh, my plans are going to be, if I'm going to move this fish on or try to find a female. I don't want to continue to keep him alone. Um, he just, he's, he doesn't seem to be his real self uh, ever since he killed his female, so I think uh, having, a, having him paired up would help out both his... Uh, you know his uh, attitude and his uh, colors and everything so but he's getting to be quite a beast he's pretty big um, about a foot now tail is pretty much back to normal not quite yet but uh, it continues to get better and improve all the time over here are uh, the umby pair these are uh, F1 Rio mags. If you're new to this channel, this is uh, the male is Optimus and the female is Matrix. Optimus is uh, an F1 from Magnus and Beast. I'm not sure offhand again where I have I have it in the records, but I'm not sure where she came from again. You can see they recently spawned. They've got hundreds and hundreds of fry. Um, 
It looks really cool when they kind of swarm around them and swim around the tank together. I pulled a bunch of them and have them in one of the tanks over here too. And I'll probably just let the rest of them uh, grow out in this tank until they decide they want to eat them or whatever. I'm not sure. Uh, Orion down here. Just pulling up my chair. Um, he's doing well. Um, him and his female have once again spawned. And um, they got a bunch of wigglers back there. Probably going to be a thousand of them or more. They've been pretty rough with each other, kind of in the pre-spawn um, times. Um, uh, you know, they're both rough with each other. It's not just him to her or her to him. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I might pull some of these fries. I got some of their fry up in this tank crawling out, which uh, they're getting close to uh, the size where I could ship them. So if you're interested in some F1 on um, um, these uh, Dolvi, Nicaraguan Dolvis from this pair, um, let me know and we can work something out here in the upcoming weeks probably. Um, some of the other fry that I'm growing out is, I've got some Hadiensis that are about ready to go, both in this tank and down here in this tank. Um, so some different umbies. These, this is just a handful from their prior spawn, and then this is a whole crap load that I just pulled the other day from uh, the tank I was just showing you. And then a few little Midas uh, growths from Cheeto's brother from the first time they spawned. What I was able to uh, yank from the tank. Here's the Dovi. They're really active and doing really well. They're growing quickly. So um, everything. In this tank, the Dolvis and then the Hadiensis are both uh, getting close to being able to, ready to be shipped. They're just under an inch each, so probably be able to ship at that point. So let me know if you are looking for either and we can uh, get you taken care of, I guess. Um, that's about all I've got for right now. Again, um, if you're looking to get some Southern Delight fish food, I sell it in bulk. Um, and actually I do sell the bottles too, but uh, the bulk is kind of my main business. Um, my email will be below um, to uh, inquire about uh, making an order. Um, and I also, like I said before, I appreciate everybody that has supported my new business venture in the last few months selling Southern Delight fish food. It's been a real joy to get that food back out in bulk throughout the community. and. Uh, just kind of doing something that I really enjoy doing uh, for a little part-time gig. Um, I also want to thank everybody that subscribes to my videos uh, or to my channel and watches my videos. Um, please um, continue to do so and, and please understand that I am grateful uh, to everybody as a subscriber. Um, the videos uh, on the fish tank tours are the you know that mainly show my cichlids get the most views. But I encourage you too to check out the uh, shrimp videos and the uh, saltwater tank videos, the reef tank videos that I put up. Those don't get nearly as much traffic and uh, uh, it'd be cool to see those getting a little bit more traffic too. So I'll try to link uh, my most current ones and in the end, uh, end frame of uh, this video so that you can uh, give those a check out as well. So until next time, thank you. Um, if I don't do any other videos before Christmas, uh, Merry Christmas, Happy New Year. And I uh, will talk to you in 2018.